So another thing I found on this red car was the state of the hydraulics, uh, particularly the brakes. They seem very, very soft. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate uh, first the amount of play from the pin being worn. Not terrible, but certainly could be better. But from here, I'm going to push down until I feel hydraulic resistance. There. So I'm going to go ahead and see what that's all about. Also, the clutch, same thing, goes about halfway to the floor before I even feel anything. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at both of these circuits and see what's going on. Um, start with adjustments, and I'm going to say I'm going to replace the pins, but I may end up doing complete brake and clutch bleeds to see if that'll uh, cure any of these issues. Well, I pulled the uh, right rear off, and I noticed right away that the uh, spring orientation is backwards. The springs are right top and bottom here but uh, they got the shoes on backwards so I'm gonna go ahead and correct that first before I do anything else and check the other side and see if they made the same mistake all right I've corrected the uh, brake shoes here everything else looked good like I said the springs are in the right positions before and someone's got anti season here so um, this this assembly does rotate nicely so I'm just gonna go put it back together and, and adjust it properly all right side number two and uh, once again, they've got them set up backwards. This is should be the other way around on these. So at least they were consistent, whoever this was. But I'm going to go ahead and rotate these around and uh, move on to the front. All right, shoes spun around. So I'm going to go ahead and fit the drum, adjust, and move on to the front. Right, this is the front left. And the brake shoes are actually oriented correctly. However, I've noticed that uh, I've noticed that the adjusters aren't really doing much because this is not even touching on the top, and the bottom one is just barely. So <clears throat> this front side, at least, it's assembled correctly, but it needs adjustment. And I'm assuming that the other side is going to be the same, but until I take it apart and look at it, I won't know. So I think what this side's going to need is just put the drum back on and make it a minor adjustment, and I think it should be good to go. And side number four, driver is front. Uh, same, same situation here with the adjusters, although the shoes are assembled correctly, so that's nice to see. At least they got one corner right. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to go and do some adjustments on this side, and I think I'll be done with the adjusting. After doing all that adjustment, I'm going to go ahead and see how we are on the big pedal. So that's the slack from the pins. Solid. Yeah, that's really nice. Firm. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace the pins up there and clean up some of this slot. But I think I'm pretty good on the brakes. I might do a bleed anyway just to refresh in the fluid so that uh, he doesn't have to worry about it. But I think the brakes feel great now. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and work on the clutch now. As you can see, that's just clevis pin motion. And then from here down, that's when the hydraulics really start engaging. I think that's peak pressure there, and it feels disengaged there. So, where I'd say from here to here is really just taken up either by where in the other parts of the system or air in the hydraulics. So uh, my goal is to bleed the system and see where we are and then do the clevis pins next after that. I gave it a bleed. Let's test it again. So there's a the slop and yeah it feels pretty good there. So before it was really going down to the floor now it's now it's pretty solid. Right about there. Anyway, I'm still going to replace the clevis pins to see if I can take up some of this slack. Um, otherwise, I think that's all I can really do with the system that it has and the age of the components. But I definitely think that the bleed helped improve this feeling. So I'm bleeding the brakes, but I thought I'd show you guys just how dark the fluid is coming out of this car. This is the uh, front left. So 
after bleeding everything, the brakes, firm, awesome. Yeah, that'd be great. And the clutch, same thing. So both of these improved by bleeding and the brakes especially with adjustment. So that's, that's excellent.